Welcome to Science's Curiosity. With just one simple click, kindly subscribe to our channel for more updates. Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky announced lately that the symbol of his nation's pride will take to the skies again. The country wants to resurrect the legendary Antonov N-225 Maria, despite the ongoing war with Russia. When Russia invaded Ukraine back in February 24, a critical battleground was Hostomol Airport, also known as Antonov International Airport. The airport, which is just outside the Ukrainian capital Kyiv, could facilitate the delivery of troops round the nation in less than no time. One of the casualties of the battle for the airport was the one and only Antonov N-225, an aircraft famous for being the world's largest cargo plane and carrying some of the largest loads that the planet has ever seen. Ever since the aircraft was destroyed, the country has been finding out how it could bring the aircraft back to life. Zelensky, along with the aircraft's caretakers, believe that seeing the Maria, Ukrainian for dream, fly again, would not only be a giant middle finger to Russia, but honor the pilots killed in the war. The Antonov N-225 Maria is a Soviet-based plane and didn't start its life as an international cargo transporter. Instead, its original purpose was very different. Carry rocket boosters and space shuttles for the Soviet space program. The Soviets originally planned for a whole fleet of N-225s to be used to carry spacecraft and rockets and as a mobile launch platform. Now, President Zelensky wants to rebuild a second plane to honor those who have fallen in this war. This is a question of the country's image and all the excellent professional pilots who died in this war. To build an MRIYA for the sake of the memory of heroes is the right state position. It's unclear how long it will take to see Amriya fly again. The Ukrainian defense industry conglomerate and owner of Antonov, Ikrabar Anprim, said to rebuild Maria would take $3 billion in five years, and Ukraine expects the money to come from war reparations. Kindly subscribe for more updates.